Hello, this is Team Loan with Compass FX. Hope you're doing well today and you're getting some good trades. A fundamental aspect of trading is understanding market orders, whether you're trading stocks, options, commodities, or currencies. You must understand or have a grasp of what the market is trying to tell you when you read or hear about a order in the marketplace that an institution is considering or other traders are putting on. Today I'm going to share with you the four primary market orders that are commonly used in the marketplace. In my live active trade room, I'm amazed constantly by traders who step into my room and are not familiar with the normal terminology when it comes to market orders. So if you're fairly new to trading and you want a better grasp of what market orders are in the marketplace, then grab a pen and paper, follow along with me. Now for some of you who've been at it for a while, some of the terminology you're going to be already familiar with. So this video is probably just a good refresher for you. Now what I'm getting at is this. Every day in my live active trade room I share specific orders that I receive from various sources that institutions are placed in the marketplace. Now here's one for example. The Euro dollar. Bids are posted near 12300 with some sell stops through 12280 ahead of large bids down around technical support at 2250. Large offers are touted at 124 with buy stops mixed from 124.20 through 124.50 ahead of technical resistance at 125 and more buy stops above. See, I get this piece of information and that means a lot to me as it relates to where price activity is in the marketplace. So what I want to do is to take this comment and break it down for you and share with you that there's a lot of information right here in this little comment as long as we understand the market orders in the marketplace. So let's get started. If we take a look at where price is currently at, and I've got a little PowerPoint presentation here that shows that current market price is at 124.50. So let's take a look at one of the most basic orders in the marketplace, and that is referred to as a buy limit or bid. A buy limit or bid is an order set to execute a buy or a long trade if the ask price comes down to or below the buy limit price or the bid price. For instance, I just mentioned in my comment that bids are posted at 123. So if the current market price is up here at 124.50, if the market comes down to 12300, for instance, then we have a bid down there that buyers are looking to come into the marketplace. Now in this example, let's say we have a buy limit order at 124.20. What are we looking for the market to do? Well, in this case, we're looking for the market to come down a bit, hit that 124.20, and then push back up. That's basically what we're looking for price to do. Again, we want price to come down from 124.50, hit the 124.20, then turn back up and head to the upside. That is what's referred to as a buy limit or bid in the marketplace. Let's take a look at the next order. The next order is referred to as a sell limit or an offer. In this case what we're looking to do is we're looking to sell the market but we want the market to get up a little bit higher, get a little bit better price higher up before we sell. We're looking for the market literally to rise up in price then turn and fall back down. So in this case we have a 124.50 is where the current market was. We have a sell limit order or an offer in the marketplace at 124.70. We're looking for the market to come up from the 124.50, come up to the 124.70, trigger that, and then turn and fall back over. So with these two orders, these are the two key comments that I get every day in my live active trade room as far as bids and offers are in the marketplace. Now let's look at the last two type of orders. The next one is referred to as a buy stop or stops above. Folks often ask me, Dean, I heard this comment that there are stops above the certain price. I don't understand. If I'm buying, is that a stop loss order up there? No. A buy stop is literally an order to execute a buy if the ask price comes up to or above the buy stop price. So what we're looking for is the market's down here at 124.50. When the market gets up here to 24.70, what we're looking for the market to do is literally trigger the 24.70 and then continue to rise on up. 
that is what's referred to as stops above. On the flip side, stops below is referred to as a sell stop order. In this case, we're looking to short the market as it breaks a lower level. So in this case, we have an order set to sell if the bid price comes down to or below the sell stop price, in this case, 124.20. So in this situation, we come down to 124.20, the trade is triggered, and we're looking to make a gain in the trade if it continues running down on us. So all in all, these are the main orders you're going to see every day in the marketplace. And if you ever come into my live active trade room, you get the opportunity to get the information from me as to where bids and offers as well as buy stops and sell stops are in the marketplace. So anyway, the next time you hear somebody say that there are stops above current price at such and such, or we're looking to enter the market at offers near a certain level, you'll have a better understanding. Again, make note of these four primary market orders. The buy limit, known as the bid, below price. The sell limit or offer, above price. Then you have the buy stop above, looking to go higher. And then you have the sell stop or the stops below, looking to short below the current price. Well, this is Dean Malone with CompassFX. Hope some of the information I've shared with you in today's video will help you in your trading. If you would like a download of the market orders, then go to this link, www.compassfx.com forward slash education, forward slash PDFs, forward slash market underscore entry underscore orders dot PDF, and you will be able to get a download of what we've talked about today. And my recommendation is to keep it next to your computer so the next time you see information about bids or offers or stops above or stops below, you will know what the market's looking to do. Well, y'all have a great day. Get some good trades. We'll talk to you next time. Bye-bye.